we want to find the exact cosine function value of 105 degrees using a half angle identity. And if you watched the previous video, we just found this cosine function value using this half angle identity for cosine. In this video, I want to show how we can use this power reducing identity, which some textbooks also call a half angle identity, to find the same cosine function value. Notice how when applying this power reducing identity, or half angle identity, here on the left we have cosine squared a. So using the identity cosine squared a equals one half times the quantity one plus cosine two a, I'm going to write this in fraction form. So the numerator would be one plus cosine two a, and then we'll have a denominator of two. In the first step, we'll have cosine squared 105 degrees, but notice how it's easy to see that a is equal to 105 degrees, which means on the right side, we'd have one plus cosine of two a, or two times 105 degrees, all divided by two. So we have cosine squared of 105 degrees is equal to one plus cosine of 210 degrees divided by two. And now we'll find cosine 210 degrees, and we'll determine this value using a reference triangle as well as a unit circle. So using a reference triangle, we'd sketch the angle in the standard position. So the initial side would be here. The terminal side would be half a rotation is 180, so three degrees more, approximately here. So this is 210 degrees. Notice how the reference angle here would be 30 degrees, or pi over six radians. So we have a 30, 60, 90 reference triangle. So we can label the three sides one, two, square root three. Short leg is one, hypotenuse is two, longer leg square root three. But because we're in the third quadrant where x and y are negative, both legs would be negative which means the cosine of 210 degrees is equal to the ratio of the adjacent side to the hypotenuse, which would be negative square root three divided by two. So now we would have cosine squared of 105 degrees equals one, we'd have plus negative square root three divided by two, or just minus square root three divided by two. And this is still all over two, now we know we want cosine 105 degrees, not cosine squared 105 degrees, but before we take the square root of both sides of the equation, let's simplify this right side. If we wanted to clear the denominator of two from the numerator, we could multiply by two, but if we multiply the numerator of a fraction by two, we must also multiply the denominator by two. So this is like multiplying by two over two or one. It just changes the form. So in the numerator, when we distribute, we'd have two minus, and then square root three over two times two would just be square root three, and the denominator is four. So now we have cosine squared of 105 degrees equals two minus square root three divided by four. And now again, we want cosine 105 degrees, so we'll take the square root of both sides of the equation. When we do this, we have to include a plus or minus here on the right. So we still have to determine whether the cosine at 105 degrees would be positive or negative, just like we did when using this identity. So remember cosine theta is equal to x divided by r. So 105 degrees in standard position would have the initial side here, the terminal side would be in the second quadrant, approximately here. Notice in the second quadrant, x is negative, and therefore the cosine function value would be negative. So we can write this as negative square root two minus square root three divided by four. And now because we have the square root of a fraction, we can write this as the square root of the numerator divided by the square root of the denominator. And then finally, because the square root of four is equal to two, we would have negative 
square root of two minus square root three divided by two. This would be the exact value of cosine 105 degrees. And again, if you watched the previous video, when we found this cosine function value using this identity, which I still have here, notice how it is the same, which of course it should be because it's the same cosine function value. I hope you found this helpful.